What's up everyone, welcome back for another video. Thanks for joining me. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, you're awesome, thank you. Let's get into today's video, which is talking about the new 2023 Chevy Colorado ZR2. For those of you that might be tuning into this video just because it's about the new truck that don't know me, um, I do have a 2020 Colorado ZR2. I have a love-hate relationship with this truck. Um, I've done a bunch of, well, I, a bunch of work to it, but it's kind of like the same mods over and over again because I've been having issues here and there, CV boots and all that, all the standard stuff, but I do like the truck and we'll see. I have, I wouldn't say high hopes for this new truck. I have mid hopes for this new truck. Chevy released a little teaser video about this new Colorado ZR2. Um, their re actual reveal date, I think at the end of that is July 28th. So we got about a month to that. So let's get into what we know about this thing, which is just about nothing. Welcome back. Taking a couple different looks at this thing in different, well, just screenshots from the video. I will put those right here on the screen for reference for you guys. Spy shots are basically worthless because there's so much crap all over the vehicle, so we're not even gonna use any spy shots. You could just Google them and you could see for yourself. But um, first off, uh, early on in the video is the front end shot of it, and it's just, eh, looks a little small, looks a little compact, compared to the 2020, which I guess is also a little compact, but the 2022, was it 21 and 22? Whatever, is a lot wider of a front end, which I actually prefer over mine, which is a 2020. If you look at this, it kind of looks a little bit like a, a little bit like the Blazer. We'll see how it looks when you get the full shot. Who knows? Then we get a shot of the back, which the tailgate looks kind of cool with the Chevrolet on the back. I kind of like that look. The newer ones have it. The Silverados have it. I like that look. My, my truck doesn't have it. No big deal, but something to note. Then one of the last main shots you get is this far back shot where you could kind of make out the truck a little bit, but it's a little pixelated and you can't get a great shot of it. So um, you kind of use your imagination, but you could kind of tell what it is. I mean, it's a pickup truck. They all kind of look the same, uh, just with different bumpers, but might be cool, I don't know. Now with the suspension on this thing, I would assume they're gonna go with the DSSV, which is on the current gen, and they actually put it on the Silverado Zero 2. They're kind of uh, pretty elbow deep in this DSSV thing. They're not rebuildable, and the one on my truck leaked pretty soon. I know a bunch of people have problems with theirs leaking, but a bunch of people don't leak, so um, I guess it's kind of hit and miss with these uh, DSSV shocks. They seem to work pretty good. I still have the rear ones on my truck. The front ones are upgraded, but most likely you're gonna get the DSSV. Then the engines, we have no idea what the engines. I would assume you're gonna get the four cylinder, the six cylinder, and then the turbo diesel also. Um, maybe they're gonna do away with the diesel, who knows? Um, that's kind of a letdown. If, if they go with the same engines, to me, it's a little bit of a letdown because like it's a new generation of the truck. Give us a new engine. Then hopefully they solve the, a couple random issues with the trucks. Uh, they, I mean, it's not horrible, but the interior is kind of like blah. The Not that I really use it that often, but the wireless charging pad in the center console area doesn't actually fit a phone. Uh, and then the shocks in the rear hang low. So you have an off-road truck saying that it is very off-road capable, but the shocks hang really low and you have to put shock skids on so you don't destroy those. There's some companies that make a relocation kit, but that requires cutting off the, the stock hangers and stuff and rewelding new stuff on. A little more entailed than I would really want to go, considering I don't do that crazy of off-roading, but uh, just a couple things that I hope they fix. Hopefully they find a better material for the CV boots so you don't tear them doing any type of off-roading. Um, the stock ones seem to be made out of paper mache and just trash. I've changed the stock ones twice and then even the heavy duty ones still tear. So hopefully they figure out something with that. Uh, short video, since there's not much information on this thing, keeping our fingers crossed for the 28th of July. Hopefully they shock the world and do something good because Ranger Raptor is looking pretty enticing right now. So, hope you enjoyed the video, this quick one. If you enjoyed the video, hopefully I earned that subscription and hit that like button, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think 
Leave down below what you're hoping they change, hoping they leave, or, or anything like that. Are you interested in this? Are you interested in a different truck? Let me know. Kind of have mixed feelings about this new one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.